What's up, YouTube? Back with another one. This one right here is towards the ARP inside the actual MPC software. I'm going to show you how to make your own patterns on ARPs and how to, you know, put it inside the ARP so it'll come up and display so you can, you know, play whatever you've, you know, recorded. So, first thing you want to do is you want to open up an ARP. And you want to create, you want to open up one of these patterns here. So you want to make sure it's enabled. You want to check off the sustain pedal. And I usually leave it around 16th. And you can also play with the full halves, three fourths, and accent, and however you want to do it to give it a different feel. So. And also change the octave. All right, so if you don't like that, you can go back in, we can change the pattern. So it's a lot of things you can do with this. So let's get out of that. Let me show you how to make a little, a little quick loop real quick. I'm just gonna do a little quick one bar. Take out the art. Now we're gonna take this, we're gonna bring it over to two bars. And we're just gonna copy that. And we're gonna make some variations. Probably sound like pure trash, but it's all good. And for the sake of the video, we're just gonna make a little two bar loop. Now you can go longer, you can make an eight bar loop if you want to, make a pattern uh, with chords and all, everything, all the little trimmings. And you can import it into the uh, MPC uh, ARP and in pattern mode, and you can play it out just like that. And it will also record your, your MIDI notes that you played. So. Um, So once we got that going on, we're just going to export it. Um, just close that window down for a little minute. We're going to go into our files, documents, 
uh, MTC exports track one. So we're gonna take it out of here and we're gonna place it in the destination because I already had one of those. I already did, so I'm gonna rename this just uh, just rename it something. All right, uh, I shouldn't have closed that down, but anyway, uh, we're gonna go back in. Let me expand this a little bit so you can see what's going on. And we're gonna go into C drive, program files, and you gotta locate your Akai Pro. NPC patterns. Put a smack in that bit. All right. Now, when you do this and you import more than one file, it's going um, it's going to be a little checkbox on the side. Make sure you check that checkbox. If it's not, you're going to have to press continue on each one of the files. So if you got like a hundred files, that's going to be pretty tedious. So I suggest checking that checkbox off so you won't have to do it over and over again. All right, so got that in there. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is you're gonna have to close this out because let me show you real quick. If you open it back up, it won't be inside the actual uh, folder yet. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to close the whole MPC software out and then reopen it. And once you reopen it, it'll be inside. So as you can see, between the M and the P, we ain't got it yet, so. Uh, close that out. Close the software out. All right, we're gonna open it back up real quick. All right, let me put plug-in mode. Change this out. We're gonna get Electra X going on. Let's pick a random art. Close it out. Let's open up the art. Put it in pattern. Enable. Let's go down and let's find our smack right there. Press the key on the keyboard. All right, so first thing we gotta do is we gotta find a better art because that's trash. And that's what we played on the keys. We changed the octave. Also press record and play. It's gonna record the notes that we play in the order that we play. So that's good. So like, if you want to go back and you want to edit the MIDI or whatever, um, let's say we don't like that pattern we just made, you can go back in the actual software. You can create another pattern, or you can just. If you already got some MIDI somewhere on your computer that you like better than you like the one that you made, you can dump it into there and you can play around with it. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, Shit, the sky's the limit, man. Just take your, uh, your MIDI, you can dump it into that folder. I'm gonna recap one more time so you know where to find that folder. So you go into uh, your files, go into your C drive. Uh, you want to go into program files, Akai Pro, MPC, art patterns. You know, all your patterns right there, you just dump them in there and they'll play. So. I hope this helps some of you guys out, make your music better. Till the next time, I holler at you.